Hello, hello. My name is Detlef Fischer and um, I like to show you my second tutorial here. So, a little bit about me. I work in 3D uh, since April 2015. I have some uh, work to show on YouTube, uh, Vimeo, Facebook and um, Instagram and uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, so um, I like to show you how I have done that here. So I came up with the technique by Chris Schmidt from Grayscale Gorilla on the Twitch channel. So he showed up 90% of this. And uh, I have uh, try out my thing. So and I came up with this one here. So uh, all what you need to do is open up Photoshop, create something what you like to show. Make the borders, the edges uh, kind of blurry, um, that we are getting a very smooth overlay um, to our object. And then you jump in cinema and you create a plane. Um, in the plane I have done that by the picture by 600 by 600 with a very high segments by 180 on each side. And then I drop in uh, a displacer make it a child to the plane and then on the displacer um, on the shading uh, you have to get, go to the channel and choose out displacement and the displacement will ask you for a texture tag so uh, we have to create this now uh, you make here down under uh, a double click so you have a new uh, texture and then um, you choose out a nice color uh, or any other kind of texture, wood or whatever, and uh, go to the displacement, check it, and go here um, to the texture and create a new layer. Then we click in the layer inside. Uh, all what you have to do is now, uh, first you go to the shader and bring in a gradient. You just leave it like it is. You go again to the shader, bring in a color, and then in the color you go inside uh, and choose uh, in between white and black a nice gray tone. Click OK. You go back and then you create a folder. And the folder you drop in between the color and the gradient channel. And then um, you go here and make it a layer mask. So this is here. In the folder you drop in a gradient. Um, you go here to the shader and drop in the gradient and then you have to go inside the gradient and make this uh, a 2D circular. Afterwards you bring the colors uh, to very uh, sharp together and then you go back to your layer and then uh, just bring in the image file you made with Photoshop. You bring this down under the gradient and the gradient you uh, make it to a screen modus. So uh, in principle is that all. Uh, then we can close the texture and just drop the texture map to our plane. So we see right now nothing because uh, the displacer don't know um, the texture tag. So. Uh, like I said, you go to the shading, uh, make the channel to a displacement, you drop in the texture tag. Afterwards, when you see nothing like this here, uh, you go to the object and just play with the height numbers. In my case, I have uh, minus one uh, 151. So you can make also a plus number, just make the Venus away, and then you have it on the other side here. Uh, you can play a lot around with that. So. Um, uh, in my case, I have uh, swapped um, the D like that, so um, then I had a picture like that. So you bring in a nice texture, this is done completely in the reflectance channel, uh, I have choose a HDR map and also bring uh, a softbox inside that I get here some nice reflections. So. Um, I hope you find it useful. Uh, please su subscribe me, follow me, like me, and uh, you find me everywhere. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Behance, uh, all over. So, um, yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye.